Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video. Wendy's Cinnabon Pull Apart Review. Is it legit? Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Well, it's nice and warm, it smells delicious, and it's officially branded with Cinnabon goodness. We're already starting off pretty nicely right there, guys. And as you clearly saw by the title of this review, I'm over at Wendy's early in the AM to check out their all-new Cinnabon pull-apart. As always, stay tuned because it's up next for you. I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Yeah, buddy, that cream cheese frosting and cinnamon is smelling really nice on this one, guys. And it looks really nice as well, too. Let that focus in in just a second here. There you go. As you can see, a lovely situation of goodness on the inside of this little cup. Let me break this one on down for you fully before we get right into it. All right, so here we go with the Cinnabon pull-apart here at Wendy's, available during breakfast hours only. And what I've got here on the inside of this little cup is a fairly decent portion of Danish dough that's done. Excuse me. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Sorry. Dunked and glazed before it's baked with cinnamon brown butter and sugar. And then, of course, it's going to be topped off with Cinnabon's signature cream cheese frosting. Very lovely situation there, guys. I have to say it looks nice and gooey. And again, with the officially branded good stuff from Cinnabon and the smell that actually replicates it, I think this is going to be pretty tasty, guys. A very lovely situation already in the aroma department and the presentation department. So let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's get into it. This is the all-new Cinnabon pull-apart here at Wendy's. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, you gotta love when this is officially branded with the Cinnabon goodness, guys. That actually adds some authenticity to what I'm about to get into here right now. And a fairly decent portion on the inside of this cup. Hold on, everyone. Let me take care of this notification. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Up for about three sixty nine or so. It's actually not bad considering a regular Cinnabon is about five bucks. So you're paying for the convenience, and while it's definitely a little smaller than a large Cinnabon, what you're going to be getting there, it looks like about all the middles that you'd really want to have, and that really is the best part as far as I'm concerned. So let me see if I can pull one of these up here, and well, not too bad, not too bad. There it came up pretty quickly. Not too wow. much glaze in that one, but it looks like it's got plenty of the cinnamon action. Let's give this a shot, guys. It's the all new Cinnabon pull apart here at Wendy's again during breakfast hours. I'm up super early right now for this. Let's peep this out. Mm. Okay. All right. I see you, Wendy's. Well, a little bit of the cinnamon action, a little bit of the frosting action. Not bad. Let me see if I can grab another here. It's very warm, and as you can see, nice and gooey. That's actually not bad right there. Very, very nice indeed. Let's give this piece a shot. A nice chunk. Let's keep going in. Mmm, there it is. Oh, mmm. <laughs> wow. That is nice. That is really nice. All right, now, if you look at the description with this one, it says that it's got Cinnabon Signature Cream Cheese Frosting, and that's definitely there for sure, guys. It's not really saying if it's got the macro cinnamon that they're known for as well, but I got to say, guys, cinnamon nonetheless, a very lovely situation. So maybe a little bit of marketing with this one, but I got to say it's very flavorful nonetheless, guys. A very, very tasty snack on this one that's not too overly sweet, believe it or not. It's got just the right amount of balance when it comes to sugar as well as just the overall flavor. It's a nice little hearty bite as well. Yeah, this is actually just minutes old, guys. It's nice and warm, and I have to say, I really like the size of these. These pull apart pretty easily, and you're getting a nice little mix of cinnamon as well as the frosting. A nice little snack. It's too bad this is not available all throughout the day, but I guess because of the amount that they have, they kind of keep it going throughout the day would be kind of a stretch considering everything else on the menu. But at the same time, what you're getting with this is that classic flavor of a Cinnabon and the convenience of getting it quickly over at Wendy's if you can't get the Cinnabon directly since they're mostly in malls and stuff. But guys, I love the situation. Let's keep going. Yeah. In. yeah. Mm. This is fun to eat right now. On a very cold morning after a rain here in Southern Cali, I'm digging this. Wow. That is really nice. Let's go for a few more. And I really like 
And these just pop right off. They are really pretty nice. Little pieces, little taste that you get here. And again, it satisfies the itch for a Cinnabon if you can't get to a Cinnabon, which is pretty nice. So $369, a little bit more of a premium considering the size. But considering the size, I guess they put this in one of their chili cups here. This is actually not bad for what it is. And again, a fairly decent amount of frosting. Let's keep going in. Wow. Man, this thing sticks to the bottom of the cup pretty nicely, guys. As you can see, there's plenty wow. of that cream cheese frosting that's melted all the way to the very bottom here. And a very decent amount of cinnamon on the inside. So, guys, a very fresh situation here. And obviously, during breakfast hours, they're going to be pumping these out for the next four or five hours, depending upon when your Wendy's does theirs. Usually from 6 to 10.30 or so. But a very lovely situation, wow. guys. It's very nice. And the overall flavor of the cinnamon is banging on it. Breakfast. Well, I hope you guys are digging what you're seeing so far, guys, because I have a lot of fun putting this content together for you here on the channel. And if you're really digging what you are seeing, of course, you better hit that subscribe button down below. And after giving this video a thumbs up, make sure you hit the bell notification and select all so that way you can be notified of any posts that go live on the channel. But guys, I got to say, very fun to be up in the morning to give this one a shot and a very lovely situation when it comes to cinnamon branded good stuff here or Cinnabon branded good stuff, I should say, from Wendy's. You can't beat the name brand goodness. And I got to say, I'm really digging this right now. Let's go for a couple of quick pieces again real fast i'm really liking the amount of cinnamon here this pulls apart beautifully guys as you can see a very decent amount and because i'm towards the bottom let's wipe a little bit of that frosting up there since it gives you a little bit of the taste again it satisfies the itch for a cinnabon on the go let's keep going in for a couple more mm. soft warm dough cinnamon action cream cheese frosting i'm here for it delicious so yeah, guys, definitely worth getting up in the morning for this one, guys. A very lovely situation indeed. A fun little pull-apart action over here at Wendy's for breakfast with officially branded Cinnabon goodness here. Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. But again, some tasty bakery-inspired goodness early in the a.m. over here at Wendy's. Let's go for one more bite, and we'll wrap this one up. Hang up. Well, it's warm, it's fairly gooey, and it's got the name brand goodness from Cinnabon all over it, guys. Definitely a lovely situation indeed. For a little over three and a half bucks or so, this is not bad for what you're getting here. And it's a nice little taste for a controlled portion. Definitely give this one a shot, guys. If you're down with Cinnabon and you've made it this far into the review, I have a feeling you're going to be giving this one a shot. And I'd highly recommend that you do. It's not bad. Wow. Yeah, I got to say, that was a pretty lovely situation to get into early in the a.m. here in Southern Cali, guys, especially after all the rain we've had. That was very wholesome. It was very warm and very delicious in the overall flavor and just a banging situation with the cinnamon and the frosting. So with everything you've seen and heard up to this point, I'm going to have to give the Cinnabon pull apart here at Wendy's. Again, available only during breakfast. A pretty rock solid, eight and a half out of ten. It satisfies the itch for a Cinnabon. It's got the flavor of Cinnabon. Even though they don't specifically mention that they're using Macara Cinnamon, it's still Cinnamon nonetheless, and it does have have the signature frosting it does taste like a cinnabon the branding is there and again very very warm and fresh early in the a.m i love this situation definitely give this one a shot guys like i said if you don't have cinnabon in the area and you don't feel like going to a mall that's a nice little thing to satisfy yourself driving through wendy's early in the a.m it's not bad for what it is right all right so do me a quick favor like always drop those comments down below let me know what you thought of the look of the cinnabon pull apart over here at wendy's did it look pretty delicious to you did it look like it had enough cream cheese frosting and overall did it look like it it was worth the money considering Cinnabons are usually about five bucks or so. Would you pay about three sixty nine for what I got here at Wendy's today? Wow. Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. Oh, wow. And with that, oh. this is Ian K oh. closing out another high quality food. Sorry, everybody, I had to clear my throat. Sorry. And let me take care of these notifications. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. 
hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my channel, we are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the three playlists that are on my channel and give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.